like I'm gonna have a heart attack. Good morning, everybody. Uh, day after Thanksgiving. I'm so stuffed. I ate too much. It's all good. Good company, good food, good times. Um, so, I'm just gonna sneak down back, see if there's anything down in the food plots or down on the um, power line. And if there isn't, then we're gonna go uh, to a different spot. Um, I don't really have high hopes, but uh, then the last two days, today and tomorrow's last two days, regular rifle season. So unless I get my stamp for ball pounding, this is it. But uh, we got one muzzle loader, but it's full size. And uh, I'm kind of short and small, so using the full size guns is kind of a struggle. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'd have to practice with it for a while, I guess, but anyway, let's go see what we see and hopefully go on into something. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, there was nothing down there, so we're going to head to a different spot. Snuck in the house on the way out and, uh, grabbed a slice of pumpkin pie right off the counter. Like I need any more. Alright, let's go see if we can find something. <sighs> Guys! <sighs> Buck down. I just shot. <sighs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. I could not believe. <sighs> He's down here on the edge of this little swampy area. Wow, wow, that really happened. Guys, this is my first deer ever. Like, whew. first deer ever. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. All right, well, he's down. I'm just gonna give him a minute. Give him a minute, give me a minute. <sighs> wow! Oh, surreal guys, I'm shaking. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh! I am shaking, man. All right. There he is. Alright, let's, uh, let's go see what we got. Whew. I have no idea how many points, nothing. I saw a deer coming, I saw a bone, I fired. I can't believe that. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Well, he's not a monster, but hey, he'll do. Thanks, old boy. Thank you.
Like seven pointer. Wow. I cannot believe how fast it all went down. Not too far from the main road up there. We had set cameras in this area. Uh, Joe and the boys put some out there a while ago. Hadn't been back to check him for quite a while. Uh, he made a mock scrape in here and then one time Joe and I was down here and we found a legit scrape. <clears throat> then we put the camera on the, the real one. Whew, haven't been down here for a while. I really was not expecting this at all. Um, so I just kind of, I used my way down through the woods. Um, <clears throat> so I parked on the side of the road up there, um, right across from where there's this deer trail, pretty, pretty heavily used, comes right down in here. Uh, so I parked across from that and come down in through here into this boggy area and I just kind of stood there and I'm like, nah, I don't know. Just uh, use the tipper can a few times. I thought I could hear a branch snap off my left. And uh, I was like, hmm, maybe, just maybe, you know, but I wasn't getting too excited. And I was just thinking, I mean, I stood there for a little while longer, called, after I heard that stick snap, I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll use it down a little further, a little closer to the bog. And uh, just when I was thinking about it, I look over and there's a deer right there. I mean, he was right there. I could not believe that. I'm like, wow, he's this close. He can't smell me. There's really, I mean, there's a slight breeze up there, but down in here, I really don't feel any breeze at all. And so I just waited, <laughs> pulled my gun up and there's thick alders through here. Like, you know, I was down that way and there's quite a bit more down in there. And I'm like, I don't want to mess this up if I don't wait. If I don't wait, I'm gonna screw this up. I'm gonna hit some branches. Oh, what? There's a there's a rub right there. Look at that. Right next to him. So so I just waited till I had a clear shot, and I was getting nervous because he was getting pretty close. I'm like, he's gonna see me. He's gonna smell me. Something. He was right on though. Hearing that call, he was coming right along. And as soon as I had a shot, I blistered him. Got him right in the shoulder. Hopefully, uh, didn't send too many bone fragments inside, I hope. But, um, and of course he took a, to running. He probably ran, uh, you know, a good 25 yards, probably. After I shot, I said, gee whiz. You know, I didn't know. I said, well, it looked like I hit him when, I, when he jumped, you know. And uh, so I was worried for a second. I took off running right after him. I just started running right in his direction. And uh, then he got out of my sight and I just stopped for a minute and I didn't hear anything. And I'm like, well, if the brush ain't crashing, maybe he's down. And he was, he was down. So then he was thrashing around a little bit and I, I found him. Whew, oh, he's not very big, but hey, oh my words, my first deer, wow. Just goes to show you, even a blind squirrel gets nut once in a while. Shoot. Alright, I gotta go get Joe. He's not gonna believe this. He is not gonna believe this. Alright guys. Check in with you later.
Well, it was a crazy season. I didn't see anything all year long. I was really discouraged and it uh, came together today. I'm pretty tickled. Not a very big buck, but he'll do. Very thankful and uh, thankful to Joe too for putting in a lot of time, putting in cameras and, and uh, checking things out ahead of time. And I'm pretty thankful. He's gonna do good all winter. Nice box. Nice one. Guess what's for supper tonight? Not a bad day. Well, thanks for hanging out today. Awesome day. Just awesome. <laughs>